Hey yo, what's up everyone? How you all? Hopefully you all are doing fantastic. I'm back with my series of improving your design or improving my design with you, whatever it is. So today our first technique is abstract shapes. Uh, I've used abstract shapes uh, quite a bit, like in many banners, like certain author banner and many other banners. For example, in this banner, I've used a load row and increase the size of it and put an image in there. It looks super awesome. And uh, add in some drop shadow to abstract design. Yeah, it's cherry on top. So our next one is drop shadow. And you know how we made drop shadow, right? just simply using drop set option but now nah, let's try something different i've also made a separate video on how to match dope drop shadows like realistic drop shadow more realistic drop shadow you can check that out it will be in the description below but for this video let me choose a project and yeah, la now if we simply drop shadow it like this, it looks really boring. So what can we do is, uh, let me repeat it in this layer. The way I want to do is create an empty layer, select the object, fill it with black color. There you go and move it behind the layer and yeah and blur it a bit this is our pasty again duplicate the layer and give it some blur. Just let me do right here. Give it some blur. You can do that again. And give that a Give it some blur. Let's merge all these layers. So this is our custom set drop shadow, and this is the drop shadow we draw from Photoshop. You can see the difference. Sometimes I love working on manipulations, and this is one of my favorite project. And but if you ever try to uh, insert an object in on a Patreon, it by it it might not look super realistic realistic so how can we fix that there are a couple of things for example let's get a png from somewhere so for example this is our png we want to use and you know it doesn't fit so right in this image so how can we fix that the super easy ways and super necessary ways Set the background, duplicate the layer, and put it above the PNG. Go to the PNG layer, select pixels. No, no, first blur the background. I chose and blur it to like this. And then select the PNG layer, go to the background layer, and extract it. Now simply you can overlay it and adjust the brightness and trust and everything of the PNG layer. Yeah, it's a simple trait but it helps a lot. If you really want to match real estate manipulations, I've also made a separate video on that one too. What a surprise! 
इट्स ऑल्सो ऑन पी एस टच सो मैं सो टू चेक देता हूँ सो द नेक्स्ट वन इज अबाउट कॉन्ट्रास्ट एल कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू बी स्पेसिफिक आई हैव रिसेंटली मेड ए वीडियो ऑन नॉट रिसेंटली बट आई मेड अ वीडियो ऑन स्ट्रीम सर्टन सून एंड इट इज़ अ परफेक्ट डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑन हाउ इट वर्ड्स यूजर्स हैव टू ड्यूज सम लेस ट्रेलर्स टू द बैकग्राउंड एंड गिव सम पॉप इन ट्रेलर टू योर फोरग्राउंड और योर मेन सब्जेक्ट इट कैन बी द अपोजिट पर आल यू हैव टू डू इज Make sure that there is enough contrast between background and foreground, so that people will focus on your main subject, not on some pop in background. If you know what I mean. There is a lot more to that. You should watch that video. Using motifs is our last technique in a, in this video. You might be wondering how can we use motifs on Android, but we can easily do that. I also made a separate video on this one too. If you really want to use any Photoshop Motrap on your Android device or any other device like iOS, I mean, watch that video. So simply, we just use Photoshop. It can be web version or application. A link of both of these will be given in the description below. So simply, just. Open Photopea and insert any of the template you want. Mm. It can be a bit slow depending on your computer, or depending on your mobile phone, but it will work just fantastic. So as always, we. Just double click the layer, and here you go. You can change the. This tutorial lets just use a shape like a candle shape. Yep. Okay. And just save it. Save it as smart smart object. You can use it in image here. It might add a few seconds or minute to save, but be patient. As usual, it's a smart object is updated. Let's move on to our previous. Yeah, now has our rectangle. So hopefully you would like this video. I would really appreciate your like or subscribe and comment down if you have any query. Um, also on Instagram, I regularly update my design and some useful tips and tricks there too. So make sure to follow me on Instagram too.